Hello and welcome back to Fusion 360. In this tutorial, let's just try out to talk about the CNC manufacturing. Right? I'm in manufacturing mode inside Fusion 360. First thing which comes in mind is just to analyze the part. For that, I will click on inspect and especially I will click on the radii to just look for the radius. And this time I have 6 millimeter radius. Why I did this? Because whenever I select the tool, so I don't have any difficulty in that to select the proper diameter tool for this kind of path to be machined. Next, you need to select the proper units, and then you just made your path either in millimeters or inches. Next, if you look at on the top, you can have the milling, you can have turning, additive inspection what we call is the CMM fabrication and utilities for now I'm interested in milling I will choose milling next what to keep in mind as before going to create the CNC program for any kind of part there is basic three kinds of requirements the first one is the setup next you have to define the proper tool and finally you have to apply proper operation and the operation depends on the complexity of part for now I have simple part it will not need lots of operations but you have to be keep in mind all the things right and then after doing all these things you can go and select the post processor which will comes under the action category and then you can create the G codes so let's just try out to to program this part right so first I will click on the setup either you can click on the new setup as well and I will just click on the setup and setup you just realize the machine which one is my pot which one is my blank and which one is my machine zero machine zero is nothing just to call the manufacturing coordinate system and you have to just orient this according to the machine and that you will just load this part for now I'm just happy but make sure the Z axis must be upward you can just uh, play around with the X and Y axis and uh, for example I just want to hold this part and machine in this way so I'm happy this is my X axis this is my Z axis and this is my Y axis you can play around and just orient the model orientation like in this way but for now I'm just happy right and next you have to choose the proper uh, machine milling turning cutting uh, which what actually we call is the laser or the water jet and additive for now I would choose milling operation and then you have to define the body right this is very necessary in stock if you look at here I have some additional material on sides which I don't want to be half I'll just do this and you can see what here this is why I will select a fixed size box see and I'm just happy with this next to define the proper operation how you will recognize that to which operation I should actually jump and to create the uh, CNC program let me just clarify you you, you should know uh, what's actually a 2D this is called the planar mill and uh, this is the planar part because the, the the side of the the pocket is just parallel to the axis that's what actually we call is the uh, planar mill if the cutting planes are not parallel to the axis that time we call is the three axis machining and you need to go for that and if you have certain kinds of driving operation you need to go for them as well and multi axis later on we'll talk about this as well but for now uh, you have to be clear out about the planar mill and the three axis as earlier I told you for now uh, this is a prismatic part and especially a planar part and we have pocket I will click for the 2D pocket and now you have to select the proper tool you can add a new tool by just click on the plus icon but for now 
I have already in my library with 10 diameter tool I will just like this tool and now what I can do I will just go for the geometry and well just like the pocket that you want to be a uh, manufacturer to create G course for them you can keep the coolants on and off uh, you can do dry machining for now I would like to do dry machining I don't want uh, to be have any coolants uh, during the operations and and now you can just uh, a default present uh, and you can just custom them together they just defining that my uh, few red should be this one and now it will automatically create the G and M codes for you uh, right let me just uh, edit the settings and from here uh, once you define this, the, the spindle speed, the, the rest of the things uh, Fusion 360 will automatically detect this is the surface speed, frame spindle, and cutting fuel rate, and feed per tooth. Each and every thing will just automatically sit down by the Fusion 360. And, uh, right. And I, I, I don't want to be have any rest of machining. I, I just want to be clear out this pocket and once, and uh, I'm happy, right? And next uh the clearance plane you have to define because the tool will retract up to this plane and i think this is fine for now uh you can just uh minimize uh but for now i think this is uh really well uh right and as you can see uh stock top uh five millimeter and feed height top so as you can see over here uh, you can have different colors, right? Which actually uh, tells you the 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 cutting tool paths, the free feed, and then the lead in it, lead out. Uh, so I think uh, we're happy. And I just created a program. And how can you realize uh, that, that 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 you just did with this program? You can go for the simulate. And let me just do see. I just create and do cutting. Once I click on the start simulation, I will just do in a rush and you will not see it because I don't know what's what done with the speed uh, arrangement. But uh, this is good for now, right? And now, once you just create a program, then you go and to select the post processor. Uh, let me clear one thing post processor is nothing, just to define the proper machine. Because we can have different companies' machine. I talk about CNC machines, either milling, turning, EDM, and mill turn, or whatever the machine you have, right? But it's actually based on the uh, microcontroller, and each micro microcontroller uh, based on the Arduino. It's actually Arduino based, so we can have three kind of microcontroller. Uh, we, we can have the head knob, which is a little bit uh, poor technology and the oldest technology. Next, we have the uh, Famic, uh, which is a bit uh, better than head knob. And right now, the latest one is the Sonic right? So, in this, uh, you just do nothing just to see the select like the proper machine. You can just choose from the library, but for now, I will just use machine configuration and I'll just choose the three axis machine. And you can just call the program number because if you not define this, um, you can leave a comment for the operator as well. Output folder where you want to be safe your file, and I'll just like proper folder for this. And then you have to just select the proper units. NC extensions each and every machine have their own extension file format which the manufacturer provided. Uh, whatever you buy some uh, the machines on that end right so the manufacturer will provide each and every thing once you're done with this you can just like the post and you can just save the file uh, but this time it will not generate the the proper CNC program for me because I, I don't have a license software because this is the correct software and I'm able, unable to create the the G codes uh, right so in next operation uh, I will create uh, the same part with the help of the annex and then I will show you what's actually the codes so basically 
you have to be clear out about the setup 2d 3d railing multi-axis and actions uh, especially post processor and then you have to gen generate the G codes right you can select the G codes from here as well but just clicking on there but if you have the license then each and everything will be fine right because the procedure that I just told you is the basic thing and then defining the post processor is not a critical issue for you so hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you're new to my channel so please make sure to subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell icon to be a part of the conversation thank you